Hello, I'm Stephen Cook with Cook's All Manufacturing. In our last video, we were talking about tensioning, and I had mentioned that we would come out to a sawmill and, and show how the, the uh, tensioning device works. And so that's what we're going to do here this morning. Uh, we set our, our sawmill from 17,000 to 18,000 uh, pounds uh, when we tension it up. And so if you want to learn more about all the tensioning I had talked about, then, then look at our last video. Uh, but this, uh, this is a tension meter, it has a gauge on it. When I put it on, I want to make sure that it's uh, set on zero and I'll do that. I also want to make sure that uh, I don't push the back of the blade all the way against the, the, the back of this uh, 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 meter because if it does, it could bind. And, and I'll try to show you how, how I'm just barely wiggling this. Uh, over here and it, it, it can just go around or two without hardly even wiggling. So I don't need anything binding. It needs to be very free. This is like if you've around machinists to work or whatever. It's like a dial indicator. And, and we're really stretching, although the blade is in fact stretching. And as I probably mentioned before, that's what allows when you run into the log for the blade to dip or dive or go up uh, when you hit the log and then it'll kind of straighten out. Uh, there's reasons for that we'll talk about maybe in other videos as well. But uh, it is stretching a little bit. That's what's causing that. And, uh, <clears throat> but it's only in uh, thousandths really. So we've, we've essentially got a uh, thousandths gauge here that's measuring the pounds that we want it. So that's been figured out and, and made into this gauge. So I'll set it up here. And uh, <clears throat> you want your blade untensioned and loose when you start off with. So no tension on it. And I just slide this in, these screws here, as I started to put this on a minute ago, the screw was out and I got it that far and it, it wasn't enough. So you, you can make sure you get it on enough, but not all the way back to the back. As I said, there's a little uh, uh, rounded hole at the back. So just bring it right up to that. And that, that allows you to have uh, the, the, the room that you need. So real simple to do. Just tighten it up good and snug. Don't break the, the knobs off or anything, but just good and snug. And it's just kind of hanging there right there. Uh, so I'll go around to the other side and uh, tension up the mill to the mark that we have. Every mill should have a mark or some way to know so that you go back to the same place every time. So I'll go up there and do that and, and let you see that tension up. All right, I'll tension this up now to, uh, to the uh, specified mark we have on our machine over here. And uh, every machine should have this mark where we go right back to it uh, at the same place. I should be about 17.5 or so right in there. Uh, be aware that, that according, you should have a machine that's repeatable and uh, it uh, one round, one pump pass, all those can be a thousand pounds. So it's just something to be aware of. Okay, I'll take this off right now. It's just a real simple, easy instrument. Again, uh, it's not something that you have to have. Uh, I mentioned in the last video, if you're breaking blades, and you can back off on your tension a little bit. That's one way to know. Uh, the tighter you can have your blades, um, <laughs> the faster they run up to a, up to a point. Uh, but you can start breaking blades if you're having trouble. You just back off a little bit. But this is a little instrument, and really, unless you have one, you don't know exactly how much pressure you're putting on a blade. Uh, sometimes rust can get on your machine if you're out in the weather. Uh, different things can can come up and it changes that if you're especially if you don't have a spring type tension or something where you're opening uh, uh, making your tension come against the spring that spring measures that uh, consistently that's why we do that but anyway just a, a, a real short video there to show you how that works and give you a little more information that might be helpful in running your sawmill